Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. You guys already know the deal. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. So today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve these, I don't know, like beach wave curls using no heat. This is no heat. Obviously my hair is straight, so, you know, I straightened it already. I did use heat for that, but these curls are, you know, no heat whatsoever. So pretty much this is one month old hair. If you guys want to see how I maintain my hair for a month, I have a whole video on that which I will link down below. So yeah, once it starts hitting like three weeks to a month, I like to do different things to it. So this is one thing that I decided to do is just um, heatless curls. You know, it's giving me that nice wave to it. And I'm going to be featuring some products from Grace Elea. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know that I I rocked with these for a really, really long time. So yeah, if you're interested to see how I got these curls, then stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? So this is my hair about a month old and as you can see, it's looking kind of trashy and I really just need to do something to it. So I'm gonna revive my hair and show you guys exactly how I do it. And I'm very sorry if I'm talking weird right now. My allergies are acting up, so just bear with me. So first things first, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. Then I'm gonna take my handy dandy Revlon blow dryer thingy-wajiggy. I do have a video on this. It is actually not on right now. I'm just using it as a paddle brush and I'm just brushing out all the knots just because I literally had my hair straight for a month and I haven't combed it in over a week so yeah I'm just going through my hair and taking out all the knots so it can be nice and smooth so now I'm gonna tie up my hair with these satin scrunchies and I also got these from Gracie Leia I get a lot of questions about where I get them from um, so I'm just giving you guys a option and then I'm gonna go with my favorite cheese silk infusion and I'm just gonna take a bunch of that and just Put it all throughout my hair this is gonna give me some shine and um you know help with some movement and all that and i just love this stuff it's gonna make my hair smell great as well so yeah i'm just gonna start to work that in and then now i'm gonna begin with the cane rolling process so pretty much i'm just taking you know a medium sized section and then sectioning that off into three smaller sections and then i'm gonna start cane rolling my hair into pretty much two big pigtails and that's what's going to give me you know that little wavy curly look and if you do decide to do more than one braid your hair will come out a lot more defined so just keep note of that but i just really wanted some you know effortless waves so as you can see i'm just braiding um i'm going to try to explain to you guys what i'm doing so every time you see like my middle finger touching hair um that's where I'm picking up hair and bringing it into the braid. So as you can see, middle finger, picking up hair, bring it into the braid. Middle finger, picking up hair, bring it into the braid. And I just continue that all the way down. I know it's confusing. I'm not the best braider, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna braid that all the way down and then I'm gonna add a elastic at the end. Alright y'all, so this is one of the most important parts. This is my favorite hairspray at the moment. This is the OGX Shea Sleek Humidity Blocking Hairspray. It smells amazing and it really, really, you know, keeps the curls together, keeps everything in place. So I'm just going to go ham with this and I'm going to spray it all throughout my braids. Just spray, 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 spray. And what I love about this is that no matter how much you spray, it does not make your hair hard or crunchy or leave white residue or any of that so this is bomb stuff so I'm just gonna pat that into my hair and make sure that it is nice and distributed and move on to the next side again I'm applying my cheese silk and then putting that throughout my hair and then I'm gonna cornrow it all the way back and like I said, every time I pick up hair, it's that middle finger picking up hair. I'm not an expert in braiding because I've seen other people braid and they braid nothing like me. So this is the way I braid my own hair. And trust and believe, when it comes to braiding other people's hair, I struggle, okay? This is a trial and error process. All right, so this is what my hair looks like once complete. So now I'm gonna take my handy dandy Gracie Leia 
satin lined cap and I'm gonna use this to protect my hair overnight I got black a burgundy and a blue but for this particular video I am gonna use the little burgundy a red one just so it can match my shirt so on the inside it is satin lined which is bomb for you know any type of hair especially if you have curly hair or your hair is super super dry so what I'm doing right here is just wrapping my hair sort of like into like one of those like halo braids and then I'm gonna put on my satin lined cap and this is just gonna make sure that it locks in all the moisture it's not gonna dry my hair out or anything it's gonna keep my hair looking super super healthy and it's gonna make sure that my style lasts long so I'm gonna wear this every single night just to maintain the style and honestly I actually wore this out to the mall with my sisters and you know it looked pretty cool so you can definitely wear it to bed or you can wear it out as well and if you're interested in the satin lined caps I will leave a link down below so definitely check that out so anyways, on to the next day. As you can see, I did switch to my black satin line cap. And I just did that again to match my what I was wearing. And as you can see, it kept my hair super sleek. And you can see that the shine is still there, which means it kept my hair moisturized. All right, so I'm about to take down my hair now. So I just took out the elastics and I'm just going to gently unravel the braids. And once they're done unraveled, I am going to spread some of the hairspray in there just to make sure that my curls don't fall or anything and just to hold all the waves in place. the next step I'm gonna do is take some of my edge control to lay my edges this is definitely one of my favorites right now this is the OGX Aspen texture I don't know some kind of hair molding cream it's actually really good for straight hair I do really like it so I'm just gonna take a edge brush and lay my edges down so yeah, that is pretty much the final look. This is how I get my heatless waves or curls, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested again in the satin line caps, link will be down below. Let me know what you guys think and give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Deuces!